Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my tutorial on how to install both C as well as C++ along with NetBeans on both Windows as well as Mac OS, all in one video. First, I'm going to show you how to install everything on Windows, and if you're a Mac user, in the description underneath the video, you'll see a timestamp you can click on and jump directly to that point. I'm going to move really quickly through this, so get ready to hit the pause button. Don't want to waste your time. And like always, I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, first off, inside of Windows, what you're going to want to do is go to SourceForge.net Projects, and it's Min GW, Minimalist GNU. You're going to want to download this guy, and then you want to come down here and click on Run. After you do that, this is going to pop up. You're going to click on Install. Then you can make sure you keep everything in the default directory, Min GW. Don't change anything on this screen, and then you're going to click on Continue. And that's all going to uh, download and run for you. After everything is done, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to this page. You are going to click right here in MinGW Developer Tools. And then a whole bunch of these other things are also going to be checked. You're also going to want to make sure that you have MinGW32 Base selected down here if it's not selected already for you. Of course, we are going to be installing C++, so you're going to want to make a check inside of here and it's G++ but it's C++ C GNU C++ compiler that's what you want to get and then you're also going to want to come in here and put a selection inside of M sys dash base and all of this other stuff should come in here and install for you as well after you do that you're going to come over here to installation and click on apply changes this little window is going to pop up for you you're going to come in here and click on apply and all that stuff's going to download for you and then after everything has been downloaded and installed, you're going to click on close. All right, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, put all that information into your environment variables. So just come over here. If you're on Windows 10, which is what I'm guessing you are, just do a search for environment and then click on edit the system environment variables. This guy's going to pop up inside of here. Come down and click on environment variables. Whenever you do that, come over to your path and select path. And then you're going to click on edit. And then you're going to type in C colon backslash min capital GW. Exactly like I have right there with a backslash and bin. Click on OK. Then you're going to also come in and once again edit. And you're going to want to add this in here once again. Exactly like we have here. You can go and verify that these files actually exist. It's probably a really good idea. And then click on OK. Then after you do that, you're going to want to open up your command prompt. And you can just type in G++ dash dash and version. And whenever you do, you're going to see that you have the current version of C the C++ compiler installed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get NetBeans. The reason I picked NetBeans is based off of all the available IDEs on every operating system, I consider NetBeans to be the best based off of what works best on every single operating system. And because I'm doing a C++ tutorial like you guys asked, I chose NetBeans. So I just went in here and I just selected C, C++, download x64. Whenever you click on that, it's going to download. And then you're going to come down here and click on Run. This is going to open up. You're going to come in here and click on Next. And then you're going to accept the terms of the licensing agreement. Click on Next. Leave everything in the defaults. Click on Next. Everything here. Don't do nothing. Install. And then, once again, you can either contribute to the information or not. Click on Finish. And then you're going to open up NetBeans. You're going to come up here to New Project to verify everything is working. You're going to come down to Samples and C++. Click on Welcome and then click on Next. And you're going to see where it's going to save all your different files. And you're going to see GNU, SIGWIN. See, this is what we just installed. Click on Finish. Whenever you do, this is going to open up. You're going to come over to your source file uh, directory area here. Just click on this guy to see the welcome.cc file. Double click on that. This is going to open. You're going to come up here where there's a little arrow or triangle on its side and click on that guy and everything's going to run. And if it says run successfully, you know you have everything installed properly on Windows. Okay, so hopefully that helped you out. And up next, I'm going to show you how to install everything on Mac OS. All right, very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to hit command or the little flower thing and space, type in terminal because very well might have G++ already installed. Just type in G++. If you get fatal error, no input files, guess what? G++ is already installed and more than likely everything's gonna be set for you. Then what you wanna do is come in here and type in G++ dash dash version and you should see something like 4.8 somewhere in that area. 
If you do not, what you're gonna to wanna to do is open up the App Store and you're gonna to wanna to go and get Xcode. And it says update here, but you're gonna to wanna to install. So just install Xcode. After that, you're gonna type in Xcode dash select with a space dash dash install and then hit enter. And that's gonna install everything you're gonna need. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to netbeans.org downloads index.html and more than likely you're just going to get the C and C++ compiler so let's just come in here or IDE I mean and just click on download whenever you do this is going to open up you're going to double click on the NetBeans 8.2 package it might be a different number this is going to open up you're going to click on continue this is okay you're going to click on continue this is going to open up you're going to click on continue you're going to click on agree and you can just store it exactly where it's going to go and click on install after you do that everything's installed you're going to see in your applications folder NetBeans you're going to open that up and this is NetBeans itself you're going to double click on that and then you're going to come in here and you're gonna click on new project after that to verify everything's been installed properly you're gonna click on samples and C C++ welcome and then next you're gonna make sure you have GNU Mac selected down here and you can store this uh, project file wherever you want click on finish after that you're gonna come over here and click on the sources files and double click on welcome.cc and then you're gonna come over here and click on this little triangle that's on the side this is the run command that's how you run your applications and whenever you do that you're gonna see this all come down here if it says run finished exit value zero blah 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 you know that you have C C++ as well as NetBeans properly installed on your Mac so hopefully that helps people out out there and very soon I'm gonna start my C++ tutorial that you guys have all requested and like always, please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.